Hey, 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 Virgo, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Thursday, May 7th to the 8th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Virgo, if you would. Before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. All right, Virgo, I'm going to pull four cards here and then get a message from Spirit channeled just for you. Wow. All right, Virgo, this is powerful. Oof. We've got the Judgment card at the bottom of the deck. We've got the Four of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the World card, and the Queen of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, yeah, Judgment card. Okay, let's get this message from Spirit, see what's up with Virgos. Let yourself be seen by others, Virgo. For some of you, are you are you in your hermit mode? Are you hiding? They're wanting you to come out of your nest. And they said that specifically, nest. Are you nesting? You need to be seen. Your energy needs to be felt, Virgo. Your light is needed. Not just on the inside of your nest, on the outside. Go fly. Okay. I'm feeling um, Empress energy here. So I feel like for a lot of Virgos who this resonates with, you are an Empress, with, especially with the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands here. I feel that's you and starting a new cycle, working on your foundation. You could be sort of nesting. Um, maybe that's why they were, use the word nesting because the four of wands I'm feeling is <clears throat> your foundation. You're really focusing on making that firm and starting this new cycle. It's like you're, you're, you're rearing to go with this queen of wands energy, but not quite yet because you're still in this mood. You're like, no, this is my baby. This is my baby. I'm going to, I'm going to make this baby sprout wings, but not right now. And they're saying you need to get out. You need to be seen right now. Three of, look at this, three of uh, swords and the six of wands. This is being seen. Okay. Now the three of swords is healing. And I think this is, um, hmm. Well, I don't want to, well, I guess it's part of your healing process. I feel like you're getting over healing. This is a step in the right direction, right? Um, you may be on something like YouTube or have some sort of platform where maybe you've been incognito for a little bit. Okay. They're saying you need to get out. You need to be seen. Your energy needs to be felt. Oh, um, they're also saying um, that this healing is not only you healing, it's other people healing from the presence of your light, Virgo, from the presence of you. Okay, so know that. That's pretty powerful shit, and that's what I'm feeling from the Queen of uh, Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Oof. Tell me about this four of wands. Tell me about this foundation Vir Virgo's building here. And the judgment card rears its head. It was on the bottom of the deck, right? You're finding your balance again. You've gotten some epiphanies with this healing. You've gotten major epiphanies, which is allowing you to start this new cycle and allowing you to manifest. Mm-hmm. 
It's like all your dreams are becoming reality now. All your dreams. That, like I just said, this is your baby. This is like you, you're, you're going to make it sprout wings. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. And you may even be taking a risk. You may be taking a leap of faith. But Spirit saying, yes, go for it. And you know you need to. You know you, um, it's like you're not even thinking twice about it. Even if it's a risk, it's like, ah, eh, well, no risk, no reward, right? That's Aries energy. Tell me about the world card. <laughs> Did I tell you it's going to sprout wings or what? This is healing. This is balance. This is embracing change, which is what you're doing. And this is flying. This is your baby flying. This is you flying. This is your new cycle. Mm -hmm. It's funny with the 10 of wands here, Virgo, right? This is responsibility, right? Um, which is coming along with taking this leap of faith and really building something solid, but you don't see it as a burden. You see it as you're just working hard. You're working hard, but it's not work to you because you love whatever it is that you're doing. So any, um, any advice for Virgo? What advice do you have for Virgos? Keep doing what you love because the more that you continue to do what you love, okay, the more that you're calling in this energy, soulmate, twin flame energy, but, okay, there is a third energy that can get in between, right? But here I'm feeling if you don't get out, if, if you're not being seen, you can't, this can't find you, okay? They have to see your lights. They have to see your light. So you're getting in your own way. You're the freaking third energy that's blocking. You're, you're, <laughs> I hate to say it this way, but you're cock blocking yourself. Seriously, Virgo. Okay, stop it. <laughs> that's so funny. Sorry, I had to say it. Eight of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, see? <laughs> see? Continue to work hard. Yes, but get out. Be seen. Your light must shine. Like, and I'm emphasizing must. Why? People are counting on your light. They're counting on you to influence their healing, whether they know it or not. You have influence, Virgo, for whoever this is for. You have a strong, strong influence and a strong light, a very healing light. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, seven of pentacles. Absolutely, you are planting seeds. And yes, they will sprout wings. They will. You just have to get out there, right? Shine your light so that what is meant for you comes to you. Okay? So go fly, Virgo. Go fly. All right, Virgo, I hope this made sense. I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, the info is in the description box below. You have yourself a fantastic day, Virgo, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.